and things. Hey everyone, what's going on? The girl's hot here, which stands for Together Individual Entertainment. All right, today's Halloween story is the Spooky Express. And if you're wondering when I'm going to do my double read, well, you'll be excited to know I'll be doing a double read on Friday for most of our two childhood shows, and the other will be from Spooky the Square Pumpkin along with another Halloween tale on Halloween Day. Now, I have to be quick about it, especially knowing that I have a working shift on Halloween Day. And I'm disappointed that I'm not going to be staying at a short level, but still, I'm pretty excited that, you know, um, that I'm going to try and do a double story. But anyways, let's get into it, shall we? The Spooky Express Pittsburgh Halloween Thrill Ride. We were at a trick-or-treating. My best friend and I, when we saw a huge shape swooping down from the sky, it circled around us on train tracks of mist. Then it came to stop, and its large pistons hissed. What a marvelous train engine, black as night. All its carriages glowed with a ghostly green light. And we both held our breath when its loud whistle blew for the sound that is made was a ghastly woo-woo. The door opened wide. A conductor appeared with a cheery old smile. That was not to be feared. He said, Spooky Express, hope aboard. Take it on. How exciting, we thought. And we climbed up inside. <laughs> We looked all around, and what a wonderful sight we saw. Ghosts to our left, we saw ghouls to our right. There were mummies in tatters and witches in hats and ogres and werewolves and vampire bats. There were big trolls from Overbook, towers in size, and aliens from Beachview with bright, bulging eyes. A voice on the speaker said, please hold on tight. Then the train gave a lurch and launched into the night. We glided along through the dark, stormy sky, and we watched at the streets of Homewood. I whizzed on by. We zipped over Squirrel Hill, saw the bright lights. We looked down on North Shore from drizzling heights. The ride was fantastic, but where were we going? We sped over onward, with no signs of slowing. Ohio River next, said the train's engineer. Make room for the creatures who'll swim aboard here. We, he slammed on the brakes, and I thought we would crash, but we dropped in a stone, and the whole train went splash. After the river, another train stopped up a really tall tower. On the side near the top. Mount Washington next, where the big ogre, ogres dwell. Then down the old sewers. Oh, the sewer folks smell. As we reached to our next stop, the train turned too fast, and I saw through the window a pumpkin whizzed past. The ghost started howling. What happened? I said. We're doomed, cried a witch. That's the engineer's head. If the engineer's headless, he can't steer the train for his head, where he keeps both his eyes and his brain. He yanked levers forward. He jerked levers back. The train started wobbling all over the track. We swerved around buildings. We darted past trees. The speed of the turns made us weak at the knees. While everyone panicked, I stood up and said with the help of some friends, we can go get that head. Miss Witch, I said calmly, your broom is, if I may, Miss Spider, Miss Dragon, let's go save the day. The engineer's head was in Riverview Park. Miss Dragon, I said, will you light up the dark? It's there, said my friend. It's directly below, but it's down in the mud. 
and it's stuck there. Oh no! I turn to Miss Spider. Please spin us some thread. I've got an idea. We also we will lasso that head. We twirled it around, threw it over the top, and we pulled the head free with a scrunch and a pop. Then back we flew through the wind and the rain with the pumpkin containing the engineer's brain. With his pet on our heads, we jumped back on the train and we stuck his head onto his shoulders again. He pulled a few levers. The ghost train slowed down. Do you know where we're? we were back in our town? The ghost started howling, this time with delight. And the gnomes hugged an alien a little too tight. The wizard shot sparks that were orange and green. And they cried, well done, children, you saved Halloween. We'd be stuck on this train had you not been so daring. But now we can stop in each, ta each town and go scary. We jumped off the train, none the worse for the fright. This had certainly been the best Halloween night. The train started moving, its large pistons hissed. It circled around us on train tracks of mist. It launched itself skyward, its loud whistle blew, and the sound that it made was a friendly, woo-woo, happy Halloween. <laughs> Indeed. In fact, that's what I'm going to say now, because I hope you enjoy our little story called The Spooky Express Pittsburgh. In the meantime, this is Ty saying happy Halloween and have a safe one at that.